Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Let us take a simple example for NPV or net present value. Uh, the following are the cash inflow inside the bracket after tax but before depreciation and outflows of a certain period. So the cash inflow and outflows are given for you. Based on the previous formula, you can find out the NPV and decide whether the project to be accepted or whether the project to be rejected. But this information is very important for us, which is given that the inflow which we have from this project is after tax but before depreciation. So if it is after tax and before depreciation, it means there is no need for adjustment. It's straightforward, put it in the formula and get the answer. Now let us read the information. It is mentioned in the first column, mentioned it is year, in the second, first row it is mentioned year, in the second row it is outflow, in the next column it is inflow. Outflow of the project starts from the zero year, so that is why they mention it year zero, year zero, year one, year two, year three, and year four. Why it is called year zero? Because investment is in the initial, initial time, or in the beginning time, right? So how much is the outflow of the project? Outflow of the project is just 50,000. It means we made an investment of 50,000. Inflow, after the outflow, we have inflow. But remember, an inflow will get a start at the end of the year one. This is called end of year one. So we have several inflow. Year one, 30,000. Year two, 40,000. Year three, 20,000. And year four, how much inflow we have? We have inflow of 30,000. So let us read the rest of the information. The salvage value at the end of fourth year is nil. It means there is no salvage value. Taking the cutoff rate as 10%. Cutoff rate means cost of the capital or discount rate or va time value of money or interest rate, whatever you can call, you can call it. Taking the cutoff rate as 10%, calculate the NPV or net present value, right? So these are the information which are given for us. We have outflow as well as we have inflow and as well as we have the cost of capital or the, the discount rate, right? So how we can find out the NPV, if you remember, previously we mentioned that how we can find out NPV, we have given the formula, right? What was the formula? Formula was this one. NPV is just equal to total present value of inflows minus total minus total present value of outflow outflow present so this is the formula basically that we have to use from total present value of inflow minus total present value of outflow so here first of all we have to find out the total present value of inflow and after that find out the total present value of outflow then from inflow minus outflow you will get the result which is the NPV, right? So let us apply the formula here. Let us first of all find out the total of present value of inflow. So let us say present, present value of inflows, right? So give two dot or colon here, then find out. First of all, find out for the first year. How to find out present value for the first year? If you remember, previously we have given the formula in this format. But in this software, we cannot use in this way. So, so let me try in this way, right? So how much is the present value? How much is the inflow in the, in, in the first year? Inflow in the first year is just amount of 30,000, right? So this is the value of C1. So this one should be divided by how much is the cost of capital should be divided by that one, right? So what was the formula? The formula was this one. 1 plus R in the power of 1. 1 plus R in the power of 1, so let us apply that one, right? 1 plus R, 1 plus R, how much is R? In this case, R 10 percentage, 10 percentage means 0 0.1. So 1 plus 0 0.1 directly, uh, let me record it as 1.1, right? So 1.1 is the discount rate, in the power of how much? In the power of 1, right? Plus the, press the equal sign, so you will get some amount for this one. So this is the present value of amount of 30,000 for the first year. How much is the amount? 27,000, something like that. So take the present value of 30,000, so you will get this amount. After this, take the present value of the second year as well, right? How much is the inflow in the second year? Inflow in the second year is 40,000. So 40,000 divided by 
take the bracket 1.1 1 .1 into power of how much? into power of 2 press the equal sign you will get the precedence value of 40,000 as well go for the third year in the same way find out how much is the precedence how much is the inflow inflow is just amount of 20,000 divided by take a bracket divided by 1.1 1 .1, right? but 1.1 1 .1 in the power of how much? in the power of 3 why it is 3? because you find it at the end of year 3 if you find at the end of year 2, give 2 year discount. If you find at the end of year 4, just give 4 year discount. If you find at the end of year 100, so give 100 discount, right? So in this way, we have to find the present value of all. So how much is inflow in the year 4? Year 4, it is 30,000 divided by 1.1 1 .1 bracket close in the power of 4 equal sign, you will get the sum, right? So now let us find out the present value of all this amount. So let me record us. Let me write down total of present value of inflow of inflow. This is present value of inflow. How we can find out? We can find out by summation of this one. Let us sum up all this one to this one, right? Plus. The second year present value, present value of the second year. So please take the sum of all this one. This amount plus this amount plus this amount. Okay. Second year, now take the amount from the third year as well. So this amount is also to be summed with this one, right? And after this, of course, take plus of the last year itself so find out this one so sorry copy and then paste here okay. press the equal sign you will get some amount from there how much is the present value so the present value of year one plus year two plus year three and plus year four just become how much ninety five thousand eight hundred forty seven so this is the present value now let us give it a a specific color and after that find out the present value of outflows right so this is the inflow after inflow find out the outflow so let us find make it a specific color here so let us say for example this is the red one right so this was the present value of inflow present value of inflow after that find out the present value of outflow as you can see in this example we have only one outflow and that is in the zero year if that is in the zero year, so no need for discounting, so directly it is discounted. So this amount itself can be considered as a present value of outflow. So the same amount can be considered as what? As total of, total of present value of outflow. Outflows. Outflows, right? Uh, right? So total present value of outflow is just equal to amount of how much? Amount of 50,000. So here now simply we can find out the NPV. How to find out NPV? NPV is equal to NPV is equal to total present value of inflow minus total present value of outflow. How much is present value of inflow? And present value of inflow is just this amount. So let me take a copy from here and record it. Here, right? So this is the amount from this one minus amount of inflow, or amount of outflow. How much is outflow? Outflow is just amount of fifty thousand. So then press it, so you will get this amount. How much is the amount? Amount is 45,800, something like that. So you can mention with this color, right? 45,847, something like that. So as the amount is positive, based on the uh, decision criterion, we can say this project should be accepted, right? But if you have more than two projects, more than one project, then on that case, you have to make or you have to find out the present the net present value for the second project or third project, third project as well. Then you can decide whether the first one should be accepted, second should be accepted, or third one. So this is basically the result of NPV. First of all, you have to find out the present value of all inflow, which we found present value for the year one, present value for year two, for year three, and year four. And after that, after that. I just found the present value of all these inflows. So year 1 plus year 2 plus year 3 plus year 4, the result is 95,000, something like that. Then, 
We have to find out the present value of all outflow as well, which we have only one outflow and that is amount of 50,000. Then from inflow minus outflow, the result is this one. If the result is positive, project should be accepted. If the result is negative, project should be re rejected. But, uh, but at, as you can see in this example, result is positive. So we have to accept the project.